Welcome. I'm very pleased to be joined by uh, Nathan Stone, our incoming president of the Canadian Home Builders Association. Thanks for joining us today, Nathan. Thanks for having me. You've made it in to, uh, in this case today, snowy Ottawa from uh, from Chilliwack, but we really appreciate you coming in here to spend some time uh, with us and uh, to tell us a little bit about you and help uh, folks get to know Nathan Stone, uh, president of the Canadian Home Builders Association. So let's start off by going way, way back in the time machine. Uh, I would say I got into the industry. I started working for uh, my best friend from high school's uh, family's construction company right out of high school. It was kind of uh, graduated and wasn't sure what I wanted to do with life, but ultimately uh, I knew I needed to make some money and so construction paid fairly well. So that's kind of where I started, uh, right at the bottom of the totem pole as a laborer there. And, uh, over time was able to kind of work my way up through uh, you know being a carpenter to a foreman to you know one of their project managers and uh, that was kind of what led into uh, starting my own business. Mm -hmm. The uh, inception was as I sat down and kind of chatted with uh, the owner of the company that I was working for and just kind of being the young ambitious man that I was kind of said, uh, you know, where do you see my future going? And ultimately at the time it was kind of, you know, well, you've kind of reached the pinnacle. It was a family business and I'm, I'm still quite close with the family. And, um, but ultimately they felt that, you know, the management positions were going to be for family members. And so I just felt that I wanted to kind of take on more challenge. And so uh, coming from a very entrepreneurial family, I kind of gave them my unofficial notice. I said, I'm going to kind of look at moving on and, uh, started building my first uh, spec house evenings and weekends uh, while I worked for them. I worked for another six months and kind of wrapped up all the projects that I was supervising at the time and uh, then moved on. Started uh, full time and sold the first house and started my second and third one. Yeah. And so how long have you been uh, operating uh, under uh, Odessa Group? So this will be our 11th going into the 12th year. Yeah. Yeah. And what, tell us, tell us about the company itself. So uh, Odessa Group is myself and my oldest brother, so I'm the fifth of seven children, and so myself and my oldest brothers are oldest brother are partners. Um, and you're working on developing that kind of family with your own children, too. Yes, yes, that's <laughs> right. I've got four kids of my own, ranging from eight, uh, eight years to uh, just about one year, uh, coming up here in about a month. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we started, like I said, we built you know our first spec home and uh, uh, kind of sold that one and started a couple more and started doing a few customs and um, you know when I had worked for the uh, company previous to mine I had done a lot of commercial as well yep. uh, it's a little tougher to get into you know building a spec house for sale was kind of a little less uh, barrier of entry than trying to find a client that wanted me to build a multi-million dollar custom commercial building for them but uh, we since evolved uh, we build everything from hockey rinks to hotels to retail strip malls to a lot of residential we uh, have moved more into production building now so we do kind of master plan communities but uh, ultimately, uh, we still do a few custom homes a year, and uh, I try and project manage at least one of them myself just because uh, that's kind of really what got me involved in the industry, and I really do enjoy the custom side of things as well. You know, I'm, uh, I, I like doing things collaboratively. I mean, it's probably why I have a business partner, why most of our projects we do, we have other partners involved. Uh, I do really like the collaborative side of things, but so, you know, with that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also self-admittedly that, you know, I've played a role in it. I won't be falsely uh, humble, but, uh, you know, I've also not done it alone. There's always been, um, you know, somebody there that's kind of worked with me. I'd say the big one for me was probably, if I went right back to the beginning, is uh, I had uh, the guy that apprenticed me. His name was Willie Dick. Uh, and he was uh, a guy probably when we started, he was probably in his late 50s, early 60s. And I was kind of probably in my, you know, early uh, 20s. Um, you know, and, and he just kind of took me alongside and, you know, kind of showed me what it was to build houses. Um, you know, and I would say that a lot of it came from him. Um, you know, just, just that, that mentorship, that leadership, that hands-on training and, you know, always willing to teach and always willing to show me something else. And that kind of what was what started it for me. You know, the 
funny thing is, is the company that I was working for, uh, about a year in, they, you know, because it was a family friend, they actually, you know, kind of thought that maybe I was more suited to sales. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm a fairly outgoing, talkative type person. And so they came and approached me and said, you know, hey, would you be interested? We'd like to train you to be a salesman in one of our other businesses. And I remember, that, you know, talking with my friend's dad and saying, you know, Right now, you know, construction is not what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, but it's okay for now until I figure out what I'm going to do. And, you know, I always kind of chuckle because looking back at that comment, uh, you know, I was quite wrong in that in the sense of, uh, I think over over a number of years that it really kind of um, changed my mentality that I get a lot of satisfaction. Uh, you know, I have a great deal of respect for people that do sales because it's a lot of hearing no <laughs> until they're finally getting a yes, yeah. where, you know, doing what we do, it's, it's instant gratification. I mean, at the end of every day, you know, especially when I was a carpenter, you know, you'd leave at the end of the day and look back and say, you know what, this morning that wasn't there. And now, you know, because of my day and my crew's day worth of work, now there's something to show for it. Mm-hmm. So I think that that was really something that kind of clicked.